When we think of climate change, what comes to mind? Melting glaciers, rising sea levels, perhaps extreme weather. But what if I told you that the very sector designed to protect human life, the healthcare industry, is also silently contributing to this crisis? Surprising, isn't it? The very systems designed to heal us, our hospitals, clinics, and pharmaceutical factories, are also leaving a carbon footprint that's damaging the health of our planet. Every test tube, surgical mask, and hospital light switch has a carbon footprint. Yet in global discussions about climate action, healthcare's role is often left out of the equation. Today, we're going to change that. We're going to explore this often overlooked connection between climate and care, and why it matters more than ever. According to a landmark report by Healthcare Without Harm in Arup in 2019, if the global healthcare sector were a country, it would be the fifth largest emitter of greenhouse gases. That's 4.4% of the world's total. The United States contributes about 10% of its national emissions from healthcare alone. Other developed nations like the UK, Canada and Australia are not far behind. Healthcare's environmental footprint stems from three primary categories. Direct emissions. This includes emissions from on-site hospital operations, such as heating, cooling, sterilization, and hospital-owned vehicles. Indirect emissions from energy. This covers emissions from purchased electricity, heating, and cooling. Supply chain emissions. The largest share, up to 70%, comes from the supply chain, including the production, transport, and disposal of medical equipment, pharmaceuticals, and food single-use medical supplies, the demand for sterile, disposable items like syringes, gloves, gowns and masks surged especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. These items are typically made of plastic and often incinerated after use. Pharmaceutical production. The pharmaceutical industry is an emissions-intensive sector due to the energy required for manufacturing and transporting drugs. Medical Waste Disposal Incineration of medical waste emits toxic gases, including dioxins and heavy metals. Energy Intensive Equipment MRI machines, sterilizers and ventilation systems run continuously, contributing to high energy consumption. Healthcare facilities generate enormous amounts of waste, including hazardous, infectious, radioactive and general waste. The World Health Organization WHO estimates that high-income countries produce up to 0.5 kg of hazardous waste per hospital bed per day, which requires specialized treatment and disposal. Incineration destroys pathogens but pollutes the air. Landfilling plastics causes long-term pollution. Pharmaceutical contamination affects aquatic ecosystems and human water supplies. Climate change itself poses serious threats to public health, creating a vicious cycle where the very systems intended to safeguard health are burdened by climate-induced health crises. Heat waves. Increased heat leads to cardiovascular and respiratory stress, particularly among vulnerable populations such as the elderly. Vector-borne diseases. Changing climates expand habitats for disease vectors like mosquitoes, leading to wider outbreaks of malaria, dengue, and Lyme disease. Air quality deterioration. Rising temperatures exacerbate air pollution, increasing cases of asthma, bronchitis, and lung cancer. Food and water insecurity. Droughts and floods impact food supply chains, leading to malnutrition and foodborne illnesses. Mental health impacts. Disasters, displacement, and ecosystem loss contribute to rising mental health issues, including anxiety, PTSD, and depression. More illness means more patients. Hospitals face surges in patients due to heat stroke, respiratory illnesses, and injuries from climate disasters, further escalating their energy and resource use. Low-income communities and developing countries are disproportionately affected by both the health consequences of climate change and the environmental damage associated with healthcare. Wealthier nations often export medical waste to poorer countries, where regulations are lax, 
resulting in environmental degradation and health risks for marginalized populations. Addressing the environmental footprint of healthcare intersects with goals of health equity. Cleaner, sustainable healthcare systems can reduce health disparities by minimizing pollution and offering resilience against climate-driven health threats. Switching to renewables like solar, wind, and geothermal can greatly reduce hospital emissions. Kaiser Permanente achieved carbon neutrality in 2020. Improving energy efficiency through better insulation, LED lighting, and modern HVAC systems helps cut energy use significantly. Eco-friendly procurement involves choosing suppliers who use sustainable materials and ethical, low-emission practices. Local sourcing reduces transportation emissions by buying food, medicine and supplies from nearby providers. Using reusable medical tools, where safe, helps cut down on plastic and single-use waste. Better waste segregation prevents non-hazardous items from being unnecessarily incinerated. Proper disposal of pharmaceuticals and take-back programs reduce pollution and contamination. Telemedicine lowers emissions by reducing the need for patient travel and clinic use. Preventive healthcare reduces strain on high-emission acute care by keeping communities healthier. Green surgeries cut anaesthetic gas leaks and minimize waste in operating theatres. Healthcare institutions can lead by adopting green practices and advocating for climate action. Governments should set net-zero targets for public healthcare systems. Green accreditation programs like Global Green and Healthy Hospitals provide clear sustainability frameworks. The UK's National Health Service NHS is the world's first healthcare system to commit to net zero emissions by 2040 for direct emissions and by 2045 for indirect emissions. It is adopting renewable energy, green transportation for ambulance fleets and low carbon care pathways. Gunderson achieved energy independence in 2014 by integrating biogas, wind and solar power into its energy supply, demonstrating that sustainability and financial savings are compatible. The World Health Organization works with countries to build climate-resilient health systems by providing guidance on reducing emissions and preparing for climate-related health emergencies. Sustainability initiatives require upfront investments in infrastructure, renewable energy and training, which can be prohibitive, especially for underfunded systems. Stringent infection control standards often favour single-use plastics and energy-intensive processes, creating tension between patient safety and environmental goals. Many healthcare professionals are unaware of the sector's environmental impact indicating a need for climate health education in medical training. As we reach the conclusion, we find ourselves at a crossroads. Healthcare can be a part of the climate problem or the beginning of the solution. This isn't just about emissions or efficiency. It's about protecting lives today without risking the future of those yet to be born. Sustainable healthcare is no longer optional. It's a necessity for public health, for social equity and for the planet. So let's act, because healing the earth is healing ourselves. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more valuable insights on appraisals, revalidation, and interesting topics in healthcare.